In this video, we'll look at how many atoms there are in a mole. The short answer is that we have Avogadro's number of atoms in one mole, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So what does that mean? Well, if someone told you you had Na, sodium, and you had one mole, one mole of sodium would be Avogadro's number of atoms, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That's a lot of atoms. Likewise, if you had something like, say, aluminum, one mole of aluminum, Avogadro's number. In fact, one mole of anything, whether it's atoms or something like CH4, which is a molecule, methane, one mole of methane is Avogadro's number. So when we talk about Avogadro's number here, when we say one mole, it can be one mole of atoms or molecules or ions. In general, they say particles to kind of cover all of that. But what if you were asked how many hydrogen atoms are in one mole of methane, CH4? Let's do that. So for carbon, there's nothing written. We assume there's a one for our subscript. So for carbon, we have one carbon atom. Hydrogen, we have four hydrogen atoms. So if we wanted to know the number of carbon, we would just multiply that one, one carbon atom, times Avogadro's number. We have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms in one mole of methane. For the hydrogen, we would multiply the four hydrogen atoms that we have here in methane times Avogadro's number again. And that would give us the number of hydrogen atoms in one mole of methane. But what if you were given the number of atoms and asked to figure out how many moles you had? Let's try that. So this is a helpful diagram as you study chemistry. So if we have the mole here in the center and we're going from moles, we have one mole and we want to know how many particles, like our atoms, then we multiply by Avogadro's number. But if you're given particles, say 3.01 times 10 to the 23rd sodium atoms, and you want to know how many moles you have, in that case, you divide by Avogadro's number. So going from moles to particles, we multiply. From particles to moles, we divide. Let's try it. So I have 3.01 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of sodium. And I want to know how many moles I have. So we said if we're going from particles, like atoms, like our sodium atoms, to moles, we'll divide by Avogadro's number. So we'll just divide this here by Avogadro's number, which says we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole. When we divide, atoms will cancel out. We're going to be left with moles, so we'll have 0 0.5 moles of sodium. So we can go from moles to atoms by multiplying, or if we have atoms, we can go back to moles by dividing. The big idea here is if we have a mole of atoms or molecules or ions, it's going to be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of those ions, atoms, or molecules. This is Dr. V discussing how many atoms are in a mole, and thanks for watching.